Let me start by saying Fibonacci retracement is a very vital tool for my arbitrage trading on Binance. All right, so today we are going to be talking about Fibonacci retracement, or you can call it Fibonacci trading strategy. Obviously, from my recent videos on blockable arbitrage one and two, if you've watched it, you will know that, yeah, I've engaged in profitable trades using Fibonacci. In fact, there's hardly any trade I take in recent time that I don't use Fibonacci retracement levels because Fibonacci is actually one of my favorite technical indicators indicators for predicting the price of a cryptocurrency. Yeah, that's what I use for my arbitrary trading cryptocurrency. So today we are going to be talking about how to draw your Fibonacci levels correctly, how to enter and exit a trade using your Fibonacci trading strategy, and also which level is best for you to buy and sell. Uh, Fibonacci is actually very resourceful for both my spot trading and my arbitrage trading. Yeah, I use Fibonacci for both of them. I've illustrated that in one of my recent videos. You can also check that out in case you haven't seen that video. All right, so without wasting much of your time, we are going to be going straight into the business of the day. You can call me the Bishop of Crypto Cathedral. I bring you endless opportunities on CEOs, crypto entertainment, and opportunities all you need to do is encourage us by hitting up the like button and if you're new to our channel just hit up the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for instant updates so whenever i release the next video on ceos you get instantly notified all right so let's get down to business first of all what is retracement okay so um retracement is simply a pullback in price okay so in case you're new to my channel and you're wondering which app is this okay this is called the top trader okay you can see this is what the icon look like <laughs> i've just changed the theme of my phone you can see all right so um this app we are going to be using today is called the top trader you can click on it and once you click on it this is what it looks like you have um, several tokens you can add to your watch list then you can take your analysis with it okay so i'm going to be using the terra luna classic for my illustration today for this explanation okay all right so first of all what is retracement okay so retracement is simply a short-term correction during an overall larger trend okay you can see um from here yeah, obviously from um, terra luna classic chart here yeah, you can see we are on an uptrend market let me change the color to yellow all right so as i said earlier on a retracement a short-term correction during an overall larger trend now what is the larger trend in this uh, market in this terra luna classic chart the larger trend is an uptrend we are experiencing an uptrend here all right so you can see from the screen the larger overall trend here is an uptrend here but what is retracement retracement occurs when there is a short-term correction in price okay let me zoom closer so i can explain it all right so this is an uptrend but you can see this correction in price the price got to this level i'll be using my arrows for illustration the price uh, flew up to this level and retrace further to this level okay you can see this pullback here is called a retracement okay this is just a short-term correction in price now why does retracement actually occur why do we have pullback in price during an uptrend why do we usually have pullback it's just simply because we have traders that usually close their positions just to take profit all right some traders may buy at this low level here and they may decide to okay they've made a lot of profit uh the price has rallied up to this point about um zero point and uh, triple zero four one five okay the price has rallied up to this point i want to sell off and make my profit so they sell and maybe when some weak hands see some sell off in price ah they see the price retracing going down some people also begin to sell off so the weak hands have been shaked out of the market then the price goes down to this level which is uh the retracement level then continues the larger trend which is an uptrend okay okay so the retracement is just simply a short-term correction during an overall larger trend okay we have several retracements in this uptrend you can see this is a retracement this is a retracement uh this is a retracement this is also a retracement this is also a retracement okay all right so this is what a retracement is all right so retracement doesn't actually indicate a change in the larger trend no it's just a correction level that gives traders opportunities to buy at a lower rate and also make profit during the um, larger trend all right so why you trade retracement is to buy at a lower rate you know, the price must have rallied up then come down a little uh, then you buy in at a particular spot that the price has retraced to then set a uh, fake profit when the price actually gets to a profitable level okay so retracement don't actually change the direction of the market no they just give you um, an entry point and also 
make you um, take or select a favorable exit point for you to make your profit and get out of that trade. All right, so maybe the next question in your mind is, at what point exactly the price will get to before the price reverses and continues the larger trend? Okay, so the answer to that is simple. We know that using our Fibonacci retracement level, okay? M most of you are watching this and you don't even know what Fibonacci retracement level is. All right, so first of all, what does a Fibonacci level look like? Okay, let's bring it out of the screen. You click on this pencil symbol here if you're using your tab trader and click on Fibonacci levels. You click and drag. Okay, click on the screen and drag. Okay, so on the screen we have what is called the Fibonacci body, the main body of the Fibonacci and we also have the extension. Okay, so in the main body we have between 0 to 1, we have the 0 0.236 level, we have the 0 0.382 level, we have the 0 0.5 level, we have the 0 0.618 level we have the 0 0.786 level and 1. So between 0 and 1, we have 5 levels, okay? Then um, above these levels, we have what is called the extension. You can see anything above this one, which is this 1.6, 2.6, 3.6, and 4.2 is called the Fibonacci extension level, okay? So we are going to be talking more about the Fibonacci extension at the later part of this video. All right, so these are the two parts of the Fibonacci, the uh, main body of the Fibonacci and the extension. All right, so don't worry yourself about how these numbers came about. They are just some uh, mathematical calculation. You don't need to stress yourself about how the number came about. All you need to do is know how to use it and make money. That's exactly what I need it for don't worry about the other part okay so um how do you draw the fibonacci level all right so i'm going to delete this uh let me show you exactly how to draw a fibonacci level so first of all you need to identify a swing low and swing high the way you draw it in an uptrend is different from the way you draw it in a downtrend all right so for an uptrend once you click on your fibonacci place your finger on the screen if you're using your tab trader or if you're using your pc you click and drag Click at the top of the price level where the price, the highest point the price has gotten to. If it's an uptrend, then drag to the lowest point that you want to take your measurement from, that you want to do your analysis from. Okay, so you click and drag in such a way that the extension is above the highest point of the price. You can see the extension level is above the highest point of the price then between the price you have your zero and one between the swing low and the swing high you have your zero and one then the extension is above the highest price level this is for an uptrend but if it's for a downtrend let's delete this and let's click on fibonacci level you do it the reverse way you click and ensure that your extension level is below your zero to one all right or your one to zero however way it is on your screen okay because i've noticed that sometimes you usually have the reverse okay so the major thing is in an uptrend ensure that this extension is above the highest price but if you're drawing your fibonacci on the downtrend ensure that this extension is below the uh, lowest price so that we can have a good price forecast for that coin or token you are about to analyze all right so let me take off these levels all right so just to inform you so you don't get confused when you're drawing yours if you click on this pencil sign if you're using tap trader you click on this pencil sign and you click on fibonacci if you click and hold on the screen there will be a reversal when you click and draw downward you can see the um, extension is now below the one level that is the lowest point okay but if you just click and draw without holding long pressing on the screen then you have exactly what i've just done so you click and draw then the extension level is above but if you click if you click and hold before drawing downward you have your extension below your lowest price level okay just so you are informed you don't get confused when you're drawing yours okay all right so that is how to draw a fibonacci level okay so you identify two points whenever you're drawing this is an uptrend you're identifying two points which is the swing low and the swing high where we have that pullback the lowest point of that pullback that retracement level then the highest point of where the price has gotten to all right so let me zoom closer when you're drawing your fibonacci ensure that the 
lowest level on an uptrend start from the green candle where that price rally started from that is where you are supposed to place the lowest level of your fibonacci retracement and swing it to the highest point of where the price has gotten to let me give you a pure illustration uh, you can see the lowest point of the fibonacci is at the lowest point of the green candle i'm not taking my bearing from the red candle no i'm taking my bearing from the green candle you can see i've zoomed closer my bearing is not from this lowest point which is um this price level no i'm taking my bearing from this green candle at this point yeah we then swing it to the highest point of that uh rally that price rally okay so once you've um join your fibonacci you can check if there are no contact the next thing you should do is check if there are contacts with your fibonacci levels these are different levels you have in between the um, zero and one the 0 0.236 0 0.38 0 0.5 0 0.61 and 0 0.878 ensure that you have contact with these levels that is your candlesticks are having contact with these fibonacci levels if there are no contacts then you may just need to adjust your fibonacci levels so right now um uh oh i've just shifted it all right so you can see now on a four hours time frame i'm having contact you can see there's a strong contact here there are also contacts here there are also contacts here you can see let me zoom closer okay you can see i'm having contact you can also change the time frame from 4h to let's say 1h or let's say 30 minutes here then check check if you're still having contact do you have contact okay you can see yes we still have contact here we have contact here all right so this is how to draw it in an uptrend you take your uh, bearing from the lowest point your swing low to your swing high then you check if you have contact with your fib levels all right so to draw your fibonacci levels on a downtrend we click on a fibonacci here and drag upward so we can have our extension below so we want to take levels between this swing high and this swing low all right so we adjust it to ensure remember you take it from the highest point to the lowest point all right so this is it the highest point to the lowest point okay you can see we are having good contact you can see if you draw your uh, levels where well, you find out that we're having good contact we are having contact here we are having contact here we are having contact here as well so this is a downtrend you can see the price has gone from this highest point here to this lowest point then retraced to about 0 0.38 level then on its way down again all right so that is how you draw your fibonacci in an uptrend and downtrend okay so the next question you may ask is how do you know when to buy when to enter which level is the best okay let me bring out a fibonacci so i explain all right so in this fibonacci level here we have 0 0.23 we have 0 0.38 we have 0 0.5 0 0.61 and 0 0.78 now now actually the best retracement level is the 0 0.5 all right so let's imagine there is a price rally now from this point to this point then a retracement okay you can see now this first level is actually very risky to trade this first level once price get to the highest point there is high possibility that it will go down further now in my unblockable arbitrage one i actually traded this first fibonacci level but the first level is associated with a lot of risk so if you are not skillful enough leave the first level but that pattern I used in my first video in un Unblockable Arbitrage 1, that is a very effective pattern that I use when I spot that, that price pump early. All right, so when trading the Fibonacci retracement level, the best trading strategy I use is to trade the 0 0.5 level. Most tokens that has pumped we most likely get to the 0 0.5 level before an upward shoot. That is if it is still on the larger trend, which is an uptrend. So most price actions will get to the 0 0.5 level before a reversal. Now, sometimes it may come lower to the next level, which is 0 0.382 before the, uh, the upward move, or it may even stop at 0 0.61, but more often than not, it always get to 0 0.5, more often than not, but sometimes it reverse at 0 0.618. I've seen cases like that. All right, so the best Fibonacci level to trade is actually the 0 0.5 level, but the safest, so should I say the one with the lowest risk is to set your buy order at 0 0.38. All right, so for my Fibonacci trading strategy, what I do is, I place a buy order at the 0 0.5 level with about 50% of my portfolio, then place another buy order at 0 0.382 level with the remaining part of my portfolio. So just in case there is a further retracement, I can leverage on dollar cost averaging 
and buy that token to at a lower rate so i'm actually reducing my entry price okay so that is actually the best strategy i, I can advise whenever you're trading the fibonacci you can first use maybe 50 or 75 percent of your portfolio however you want to divide it then place an entry at a 0 0.5 uh, retracement level then also place another entry at the 0.38 retracement level so if there is a further move in price downward you could just uh, buy lower again and sell higher reduce your cost of entry okay but just just in case you buy lower, sometimes you may need to wait for a clear signal. Once the price gets to 0.5 retracement level, you wait. What is the next candlestick that will form? Is it a green candlestick? If it's a green candlestick that is forming, then you should know that perhaps maybe you could have an upward move. Is it a hammer? Is it a bullish engulfing? You always check the candlestick pattern that is around the 0.5 retracement level. Then take your decision if you should jump in or not. Because sometimes when the candlestick pattern is not giving you a good signal then it means the price will most likely go down deeper to the next level which is about 0.38 but sometimes when the price goes below the 0.5 retracement level that could be a reversal trend yeah that could be a change of trend maybe from an upward trend to a downward trend or a downward trend to an upward trend so you always be at the lookout of this level sometimes from this 0.5 level there may just be a push and all of a sudden we'll have an upward pushback let me show you an example in santos busd okay because i traded that token so i can remember that was exactly what happened okay um you can see at this point this is the 0 0.5 level i was hoping that the price will actually have a bounce up at this 0 0.5 level but you could see after the 0 0.5 level we had another push further to the next level which um uh, which was about 0 0.382 so there was an upward push again and that was how i was able to buy at both levels so i entered at 0 0.5 and also uh, bought again at 0 0.382 level so and i made my good profit selling at a very good high okay so that is my entry strategy always use the cost dollar averaging well trading the fibonacci that is a very good style so it's also good you add it up with other tools like i always say you don't trade a technical indicator in isolation so always check your rsi you can check your moving average you can also use your bollinger to get a clearer signal to know that hey this is an upward move um, that we're expecting or this is a downward move that we are expecting okay so that is just it all right so let's go back to our chart of the day which is um terra luna L all right guys let's go practical now let's check which of the fibonacci retracement levels the terra luna classic is actually respecting so we are going to check in each of these pullback at what level did the price retrace to before the uptrend continue okay so let's start with the lowest uptrend here all right so um in this um, trend here you see the price actually rallied from this particular point this is where the price started uh, to pump and it got to this pump okay you can see when the retracement occurred you can see that the price actually got to the 0 0.5 fibonacci level all right so you can see from this chart that terra luna actually respected the 0 0.5 retracement level okay so let's go a little further okay let's um check from here there was another retracement from here from this point to this point okay look at the next rally the next rally was from here to this point okay you can see the price also got to the 0 0.5 retracement level got close to the 0 0.38 but didn't get to that point then continued the uptrend you can see from two pullbacks you can see that we've um, experienced a double 0 0.5 pullback okay let's check the next uptrend all right so the price got to this point and had a little pullback okay so you can see where did the price get to still the 0 0.5 fibonacci level okay so you can see that three of the uptrends so far this token has actually respected the 0 0.5 retracement okay let's check from the next one there's another up rally from here to this point okay at what point did the terra luna classic retrace to before the uptrend continues you can see the 0 0.5 fibonacci retracement level so you can see that the 0 0.5 fibonacci retracement level is actually a very good point for entering a trade all right let's continue let's check the next rally at what level again we had the 0 0.5 fibonacci level you can see i've just zoomed closer you can see the price wanted to extend below but didn't get to the 0 0.382 fibonacci level so you can see the 0 0.5 is actually the best 
Okay, let's check the last rally. We have one more rally. Watch what now. This is one something you should take note of. Now you can see at this point the retracement went way below the 0 0.5. It hit the 0 0.38 and even the week extended to 0 0.23. Remember what I said earlier on in this video? Once the price goes below the 0 0.38 means there may actually be a change of trend there may be a reversal of trend and right now this is what we are seeing right now and using the rsi if you remember in the last video that i did uh, we charted this same uh, federal lunar classic and we found out that the rsi divergence was telling us plainly that really there is a downward trend okay so right now uh, it simply means we are going to reverse this is uh, what you should always take note of. When you notice a downward trend, immediately you draw your Fibonacci the other way around, which is on a downward trend. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm doing this on a live chart so that I can see how to do it when you are trying to take your own trade. Okay, so right now I'm going to invert this Fibonacci this way. Um, you take the uh, dressing from the up and also drag downward. All right, so right now in this chart, I'm going to stop at this point. Why is because there is more than one contact here with this Fibonacci retracement. The long week here did not really hold good support. There are no support around there. So I'm going to use this particular level and extend it this way. Uh, this is how you draw Fibonacci on a downtrend. Okay, you can see. So whenever there is a pushback, you can see from this very point, um, the price actually got to this point and rally down to the extension the next extension is actually where the support level is and you can see where the current price is at 0 0.3030 that is actually like a support okay you can see this is exactly where the price got to before we had a pullback all right guys this is a very important point to note just to differentiate when when you are on an uptrend and there is a pullback this uh, retracement in an uptrend is usually called pullback okay why this is called a rally this is called a pullback okay you can see all right so this is a pullback this is a rally okay guys so at what fibonacci retracement level did this rally get to before the downward trend continue you can see uh, it got to the 0 0.5 retracement level okay so you can see once you've uh, identified a retracement level a fibonacci retracement level that a crypto or a token is actually inclining its price movement to use that particular level to trade that token whenever you want to trade that token. all right so remember during the uptrend we had a continuous and a repeated 0 0.5 retracement level but right now in a downtrend we are still having a 0 0.5 retracement level so you can see that this is a very very valid one all right so in a downtrend once the price retraced to the 0 0.5 fibonacci retracement level then it means we are going to continue the downtrend further to the extension to the next extension and that is exactly what happened right here you can see we had the first pullback here okay we had the first retracement here then we had a rally this way and we had another pull back here let's check now in the live chat let's check at what level did this price get to before we had that uh, this pullback okay let's adjust this fibonacci Ooga, you can see uh we also experienced the 0 0.5 retracement level do very close so you can see this very point where the price started the retracement it got to this point and you can see where the price got to almost at the 0 0.5 retracement level okay so you can see so this is the sign that really this 0 0.5 retracement level is a very strong one so you are uh, to incline your practice to this 0 0.5 Fibonacci retracement. This is actually one of the best retracement level and the best strategy you can use for your Fibonacci retracement. Okay, so right now let's check this next retracement after year what happened. So you see we still have around the 0 0.5 retracement level but it extended a little to the 0 0.3 as you can see. Alright, so this is a very good guide. So whenever you are trading this will help you in taking your decision properly both in an uptrend and a downtrend the 0 0.5 retracement level is a valid one though sometimes we have a little extension that could go um, to 0 0.38 or just uh, 0 0.61 but the 0 0.5 is a very good uh, strategy to trade all right so guys this is how you enter a trade all right what of after you've entered how do you exit a trade all right so you can exit a trade either with profit or loss <laughs> of course nobody hopes to exit a trade with loss but sometimes you can also prepare for the worst and preparing for the worst simply means you're trying to um 
use a strategy called the stop loss strategy. Okay, just in case you enter the trade and um, the trade is going against you, it's better you use a stop loss. So maybe the next question will be, at what point will you take profit? All right, so how do you pre take profit or at what point do you take profit? Okay, and this is where the Fibonacci extension comes in. Remember, we have Fibonacci extension below the zero. I mean, we have extension above the zero and one, which is 1.6, 2.6, 3.6, and 4.2. Don't worry yourself about the um, numbers. Just use that level to make your money for yourself. Okay, so let's repeat something again. So I'll show you exactly how this extension level works. Let's take it back to the first level when you're in an uptrend that is it's always good to first spot a strong trend either an uptrend or a downtrend spot a strong trend then you can trade that trend very well using the same principle this same fibonacci principle okay all right so talking about take profit it depends on the trend if it is a very strong trend if it is a very strong trend you will know by the volume if it's a very strong trend then you should put your sell order at the next fibonacci extension right now on this chart we can see that the um, trend actually got above the first fibonacci extension and extended to the second fibonacci extension which is 2.618 as you're seeing on the screen but usually it's advisable to always put your sell order at the next fibonacci level which is the 1.618 retracement level so it is actually a safer place to sell and take profit the price may not actually always get to this um, 2.6 level of course you must have made good profit maybe close to 50 percent or more of your capital so don't be don't get too greedy but if the trend is not a strong trend if it's not a strong trend you can take profit in between these Fibonacci levels. If your entry point was in the 0 0.5 retracement, Fibonacci retracement level, your next retracement level, which is 0 0.61 or 0 0.786, can be your take profit. Now, between these two um, levels, you can have as much as 20, 30, 40 percent, depending on the um, height of the candlestick. So, you can always take your profit in between these Fibonacci retracement levels if it is a weak trend but if it's a, a stronger trend a strong trend then you can put your sell order at the extension level okay so this is for the first one let's see how the second one played out the trend started from here all right so you can see when the rally started again you can see where the price got to at this exact point which is the first the next fibonacci retracement level you can see right that is the 1.618 i always advise when you spot a strong uptrend you don't need to go short on it it's better you just take your entry level and put your exit level at a very high rate you can put place your sell order at maybe a 2x point of your entry or your 3x depending on the trend of that token or that crypto don't exit but if you are a day trader of course you're there for the daily profit okay so you can see this is where the extension comes in you can see the usefulness of the fibonacci extension when you buy within the 0 0.5 retracement level your sell order can be within the next uh, fibonacci extension level okay you can see let's see what happens again to this rally all right so here you can see the price actually got extended beyond the second fibonacci level to the third and even the fourth one all right so you can see depending on the trend okay that is why i advise when you spot a strong upward move just take your position and don't come out also maybe the next question in your mind is how do i spot a very strong uptrend okay i won't be answering that in this video maybe in subsequent video i'm going to answer that but in case you're interested in that just drop it in the comment section below then that would be a motivation for me to create a video on that okay so all right so this is just um the the clear usage of the fibonacci extension how it's used so the fibonacci retracement and the extension works the same way both for an uptrend move and a downward move okay so this is just so you take cognizance of it and utilize it properly all right you can also see um during this bull run the next level after the 0 0.5 retracement level was the next fibonacci extension level which is 1.618 all right so it is very very important you take um, note of this so that you can use this um you can have this in mind when chatting uh, any crypto that you're trying to analyze.
All right, so you uh, we've come to the end of today's lecture. All right, so let's do a quick recap of what we've learned today. We started by explaining what retracement is. So we say retracement are short-term correction in price over a larger trend. So um, retracement doesn't actually change the direction of the trend. No, it just uh, pull it gives you a short pullback for traders who are trading that token to actually enter and take good profit. It's usually caused by sell-off of token by traders. Okay, and we also talked about how to. Draw Fibonacci both in uptrend and a downtrend. We also talked about the best Fibonacci retracement level and other retracement level that you can also use. Yeah, I also talked about combining dollar cost averaging with your Fibonacci trading strategy. Yeah, that is a very good combination to use whenever you are trying to take your trading decision. We also talked about not trading the Fibonacci in isolation. Always try to combine it with other trading indicators to, to give you the best price decision for that trade you're about to take. Yeah, we also spoke about the Fibonacci extension. So that is where we'll be drawing the curtain for today. Remember, if you're interested in knowing how to get, how to spot a coin with high volume or how to know if a token have high volume, just drop it in the comment section below. If you would like to meet other traders, you can join my Telegram group. The link will be available in the description section below. Just go there, click on it, and you can join other traders with like mind like you. Ask questions and an opportunity for you to learn more from other people. All right, so thank you very much. Tell me what you think about this video. You can drop it in the comment section below. I appreciate you. Don't forget to hit the like button. Very important. That is a way of encouraging me. All right, so hit up the like button and also turn on the notification bell after hitting up the subscribe button, of course, if you are new to my channel. All right, so I remain the Bishop of Crypto Cathedral, bringing you endless opportunities on CEOs, crypto entertainment, and opportunities to have a wonderful day.